Hello, this is Alex on Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the fourth week of November. First up, Choi soo and Kim nam Sun to be appointed as CEO and CFO of Naver in March of next year. Naver has put two young leaders in their 40s at the front line of their business. What is common between Choi soo the nominee for the CEO, and Kim nam Sun, the nominee for the CFO, is that they both can introduce a global perspective to the business. The decision reflects Naver's management vision toward becoming a global big tech company. The two were nominated at the board meeting on the 17th. The two nominees have had careers in law and finance before joining Naver in November of 2019 and August of 2020, respectively. Young leaders in their 40s would get to contribute to a long-standing CSO system, which includes the CEO, CFO, CCO, and COO, centered around Yi Hei Jin, the global investment officer, as well as founder of Naver. This follows a move by Kakao where Kim Bom Su, chairman of the Kakao board of directors, appointed Im Ji Hoon, then CEO of K-Cube Ventures, as CEO of Kakao at age 35 in August of 2015. Its strategy is to speed up innovation efforts at home and abroad through young leaders with much experience on the global stage. The two nominees are going to engage in global businesses in earnest through a neighbor transition TF, and they are planning to pick up the pace with the building of a new leadership team and overhauling the organization. Neighbor said the two nominees would expand the business globally by promoting synergy among businesses, by creating a system where major businesses can fulfill their social and legal responsibilities globally. They would take responsibility for creating a new business that has a growth potential in the global market through making investments in technology and human resources. For our second story, Kakao Enterprise joins forces with Comsco for ICT sector. Kakao Enterprise will work with Comsco to identify new business opportunities in the ICT sector. The Kakao Group's affiliate announced on November 18th that it signed a business agreement for strategic business cooperation in the ICT sector at a meeting room of Comsco's sole office. Major players participated in the event, including Kakao Enterprise CEO Baek Sang Yop and Comsco President Ban Jang Shik. The goal of the cooperation is to generate a strong synergy between the two by integrating Kakao Enterprise's ICT and infrastructure with Comsco's blockchain-based mobile certificate Chak and their know-how of public projects, including that of the mobile driver's license and other national digital IDs. In addition, they plan to join forces in various areas, including cloud service, blockchain, metaverse, and AI-based businesses. Comsco President Ban Jiangshik said, we expect a positive synergy for both the organization based on the technologies and service operation know-hows of South Korea's leading IT platform provider, Kakao Enterprise, and Comsco's strength in security technologies and experience in credibility-based public projects. Kakao Enterprise CEO Baek sang Yop said, we will speed up the digital transformation and contribute to finding of various new businesses in security and authentication sectors. Next up, Gyeonggi Content Agency promotes 24 promising companies on Gyeonggi Start Pangyo Demo Day. The Gyeonggi Culture Creation Hub, run by the Gyeonggi Content Agency, hosted Gyeonggi Start Pangyo Final Demo Day on the 18th and the 25th. Demo Day refers to an event where a startup attracts investments by disclosing its prototype or business models to investors. The Demo Day was held as part of the Gyeonggi Start Pangyo Acceleration Program a public-private partnership content startup development project. The Gold Arc and Spark Lab Consortium, a professional startup planner or accelerator, and the Next Lab and Startup Research Consortium was organized on the 18th and the 25th to host the events. In addition, investment experts from Dozone Holdings and Eugene Investment and Securities attended to promote investments in the startups. This year's Demo Day was broadcast online minimizing the scale of the offline event in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Anyone interested in major investors and startups can watch it on the YouTube channel, Gyeonggi Culture Creation Hub. For our fourth big story, NHN's Singles Day turnover surpassed 
58 billion won. NHN's e-commerce business in China pulled off a historic Singles Day, the largest online shopping festival of China. The NHN's affiliate NHN Acclimate announced on November 18th that its turnover for this year's Singles Day hit 315 million Chinese yuan, which is the highest in the company's history, up 24% from last year's figure of 255 million Chinese yuan. The company's diversified live commerce channels led to the record. NHN Acclimate capitalized on diverse sales channels, including short video platform TikTok, Kuai Xiao, a short clip platform, and Mogujie, an e-commerce platform, during this year's multi-day extravaganza. NHN stated that the sales was boosted by over 60 rounds of live broadcast promotions with some of the most popular influencers in China, such as Via, Austin Lee, Sherry, Shinba, and more than 900 hours of promotional streaming events of each store. For the record, Singles Day is the largest online shopping festival in China, where most of the Chinese online shopping malls, including Taobao, participate. The scale of the event is almost that of Black Friday, the largest shopping season in the United States. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. KTB says expectations on NHN's new NFT-based PC game are rising. KTB Investment and Securities raised its target share price for NHN from 95,000 Korean won to 110,000 Korean won on November 19th, saying that there is increased excitement on the South Korean IT giant's new NFT-based PC game. Currently, NHN is working on an NFT and blockchain-based PC game, collaborating with We Made Tree. For our second quick news, Kakao's social audio platform, Hmm, introduces a donation service for creators. Kakao Group's social audio platform, Hmm, began to allow the users to donate to their favorite creators. The decision was made to help its creators grow continuously as well as expand the audio platform's ecosystem in the long run. OnLab CEO Kang Seok-yoon won the Industrial Service Medal at the seventh day of Leaders of Middle Market Enterprises. It was reported that he received the medal for his contribution to the company's historic performance by providing a security solution for remote working amid the COVID-19 situation. CEO Kong said, digitalization raised the importance of cybersecurity. We will work to make the cyberspace safer. And that's it for your Pangyo Techno Valley News of the Week. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.